Well, um, thought things had uh, gotten better, was over, and got a little sleep. Thank God for that. But uh, woke up and got up. Because I was thinking, oh, I should do the coconut oil maybe again. And I get up and it hits again out of the blue. Lasts about four minutes. Oh. This time I had presence of mind to put on some of my music. Um, found an old piece in the, and uh, was able to get through it that way. It was a long one. It lasted four minutes. And then when that quit and finally settled down, I'd be getting the little warning stabs uh, firing off. And this time, this one, it uh, didn't start the back. It started, I, I do have one up by here that's really nasty. It, uh, it flares up often. I think it's because it's in where my surgery had been before. Okay, I think it's right in there. And uh, it just, yeah, just is a nasty one. This one is very bad, too. <laughs> it's the problem of children, so to speak. Um, so... Just a minute, Maxie. I'll pick you up in just a second. So anyway, wanted to get that done. Then, there came the UPS man at the door. Oh, yes. Okay, let me let you up here first. You, he will not leave you alone until you pick him up. Just... <laughs> as fast as his little legs can go. And he's determined. Anyway, I'm still groggy from taking that medication this morning. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be going off again any second. So I'm just going, oh God, no. Anyway. I got a delivery. The soul cards. Now they really didn't have a lot about these on there, so I have no idea, but I thought that the imagery looked interesting from what I could see. And the other one I got was energy oracle cards. So I do have Two new sets of cards I'm really interested to look through them and get some kind of an idea of what they're going to be. And I apologize. I have someone that's waiting for a reading. She's getting a bit testy. <laughs> but, you know, if I'm doing a personal reading, I want to be able to focus and when you're you know just barely conscious or I feel like I'm swimming through an alternative world of jello at the moment it just feels foggy and dense and you know um, yeah just feels foggy and dense and so um, Not fun at all. Really not fun at all. Um, so, not that I don't want to do her reading, but I'm trying to get in a space where I feel like competent to do it, you know. 
mercy. So, um, maybe I'll try to do that in a few minutes. Mm. Let me see if I can get these open. It's looking like it's got some maybe interesting images. Though as you can see there is no text on that one. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting myself in for with this. But I thought it was worth it to get it and see. So let me get this open and we'll just have a quick look, see at what it is. Yeah, I was supposed to have some medicine called in. The doctor said he called it in last evening, but it's not at that pharmacy. Then I haven't been able to get a hold of him today, but uh, he's very busy. He's uh, he does sleep studies, and he's an end-of-life doctor, and he just is busy. So I don't know whether it got called into the wrong one, or they mistakenly wrote something down. or So I'm trying to figure out what happened with that. Well, it comes in a little thing like this that opens. Okay, so it's a little pocket. This is a little pocket that has the cards in it. See if it says, This set of 60 evocative images created by Deborah Koff Chapin will speak to your soul. I guess it does have a guidebook somewhere. It suggests a creative way to deepen your experience of the cards and foster personal insight. Soul cards is complete to itself or it can be used with its companion deck soul cards too to enrich the range of imagery okay there we go oh here's your book <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really have anything about the deck cards themselves. And, uh, And then here's a thing on it, so the cards are very dark. You can't even see um, what they are. So this is kind of a, they throw the images out and good luck. <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting. So we'll have to see look at a few of them here well they're interesting images um, And I think I will try using them um, in a mix with some other cards, see if I can come up with a way. If 
because they are interesting. Okay. Um, but I may have to do a few uh, sit with them and do see what work cards they will work with. So, okay, that's interesting. Let's see if the, what the others are. If I can get these back in here. Okay, let's look at the other cards real quick. Okay, it's got a nice size book with it. Yeah, it's got your cards numbered and then it's got a little something about the card. Well, these are pretty backs to these. Very pretty. And so let's look at it first. Well, that's interesting. Starts out with the sun. A journey. Blossoming abundance. Happy family. Attachment. Contract. So it looks like, you know, these are, are going to be nice. They're going to be quite usable. Um, let me see how these shuffle. They shuffle pretty well. Not bad. Okay, let's see what other card will go with this. <laughs> I think we'll use a sacred destiny. Let's do one with this and see. I don't think this is the one I want. There's one other one that I think would go really well, and I gotta find it. But for now. Okay. Well, actually, these can be used. So, what I got from these real quick is there's anxiety, something you're really worried about. Fear, you got all the little things niggling at you and keeping you bound. Then what you need to do is you need to put them in a pot and just send them off in the universe okay the universe can take care of it you need to take it off of your shoulders and give it to the universe let go of those things uh, and let the universe work on taking care of it and getting things righted so actually um, I'm surprised that this did 
I think this did actually uh, give, give a talk on its own. You know, time to get it out of your space and, uh, you know, the fears and the anxieties. Put all your fears and anxieties in this pot and throw it out to the universe and uh, the universe can handle it uh, much better than you can in holding on to it. So there you have it. Those are the new cards. And I'm going to look for the other one. There's another one that I have in mind. I know it's a different card. It's got a different back than this. So I'm going to look and see if I can find it because I think it will also work very well with these. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. I look like I'm slathered up for the beach or something. But coconut oil is supposed to be, I think it's kind of an antiviral as well. And um, um, I just figure, you know, better to keep these coated and uh, not get dried out so that they burn again so much. Ooh, this one is starting to burn again too, so I better put the oil on it there too. I tell you, it's just, it's crazy. It's so sensitive that you cannot... You just barely brush by it. A fly could, could land on it and you'd be going through the roof. That's how um, tender they are. So I'm going to leave this here and see if I can stay up. Although I've got a feeling that... Let me check my thing. I've got a feeling it's going to go off any time now. Let me check the clock and see why is it on that? Why is it not on the alarm? Yeah, it's going to go off in a few minutes. I've got 7 a.m., 2 a.m., 8 a.m. What am I missing? No, that's right. Three times a day. 7 a.m., 2 p.m., 8 p.m. Okay, so, yeah, I've got, um, a few more minutes before it's medication time. <laughs> I'm just getting where I can basically function now. So I, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get able to function with this well. I'm going to try to do this lady's reading so she'll get off my back. Mm. It's one of those readings I hate to do because they keep asking for the reading and it's going to keep coming out the same thing, basically. Same subject, just hoping against hope it's going to change, you know. But, <laughs> but okay, I will look at it again. So anyway, thank you everyone for... for uh, staying around and commenting. I am trying to get to the comments. I found a better way to do it. I pick one of the readings than just answer all those comments because if I go down just the regular things that have not been commented on, I comment on it and then I can't find it to answer it. <laughs> it's like And that's maddening because you want to give an answer, but then you can't find the thing again to to answer it. Oh, God. So anyway, I'm going to work on this. Um, debating on whether I want to eat some oatmeal now or not. 
I made some cold coffee because I didn't want anything hot. That's working out pretty well. So I'm going to leave this here for now. And again, I want to look at a little bit of the news and things. Um, so many things are happening now, so I can get some ideas for readings. Or if you have some ideas for readings, please help me. <laughs> my god and i want to say again you know if you have not watched cash peters he's delightful he is so fun to watch he's got such a great personality and uh i love his pictures <laughs> that's a great way to read you know if you're a visual person and uh you hook in that way what a fun way to do so anyway yeah make sure you check out cash peters you know all the good readers, Whimsy and and Violetta and Lena and Dave and uh, Linda Linda G. I know I'm missing something. Oh, Revealing Light. Oh, we've got so many good readers out there. Okay, and. I wish one day we could just have a big celebration and all meet one place and spend some time together. I think that would be fabulous. Um, so yeah, but let's just keep the community going as well as we can. Um, oh, Johnny, wow, how, that, how can I miss Johnny? My God, now you know I'm losing it, you know. But yeah, I miss reading with the other readers, but until I can get a management on some of this, um, I can't because it just, like I said, just comes out of the blue, this stabbing pain, and I can't be in the middle of reading with them and going, eh, I gotta go. <laughs> and that's what happens, like, I gotta go now. <laughs> See you later. That would not be great for the flow of the reading. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of hanging back until I can get kind of a, some type of a handle on this. Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Aho.